Well, this was a pleasant surprise. It wasn't a surprise, it's Bethesda. It, it, everybody. It apparently was a surprise in the video game community because everyone was like, oh my god, I thought this game was going to suck. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> like, it's Doom. I know. Well, first of all, it's Doom. Second of all, you, you said it best, it's Bethesda. They usually don't screw up. I can't even remember the last time they screwed up, actually. Well, Elder Scrolls are mine. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was new territory, though. They yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. It, it's really weird because, like, I remember I played the beta for this. I really enjoyed the beta. And then everyone's like, the beta's crap. I'm like, how? It was actually very fun. I like the, <laughs> well, I like the multiplayer in general. Yeah, but uh, we're talking about Doom, finally, because we've just wanted to soak this game in as much as possible. Yeah. Plus all the E3 stuff happened, which we were going to record this last week, and then I was like, oh, yeah, E3. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy that weekend, so I wasn't able to do any of the podcasts, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, so... What, so what, what do you, we both played this, by the way. Yeah, we did. Um, Front to back. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... Did you complete the single player 100%? I... Uh, I think I'm facing the... I'm on, yeah, I'm on the last level. Okay, because I, yeah. I did it. I, I, I loved it so much, I went through and did all the challenges, too. With all the um, trials or whatever? Yep. All the trials, all the challenges, the oh, specific dude. level. I, that's why it's been taking me so long, because I've been finding everything. <laughs> I'm not just going to rush through the game. I, th that game, I, this that's game, the I thing, that's why this took so long. That's, what, that's why this took so long. Like I told you when we did Uncharted 4, every time I was playing Uncharted 4, I was like, yeah, this is great. I kind of want to go back to Doom. No. <laughs> like, every single time, I was like, I kind of want to go back to Doom. Um, and it's with every game that I've been playing lately. Mm -hmm. Um... Whether it's just like small indie games, like I'll be like, okay, I was looking forward to this, and it's good. Kind of want to go back to Doom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's always this itching feeling, you know, but behind my head too. Like I, I kind of want to play Doom, <laughs> but you know, um, with with Doom and with its soundtrack and all that, like I need to have my TV blasted when I'm killing demons and stuff like. Yeah. That. Okay. So I give Bethesda and it a lot of credit. I do. Because they at least attempted to try to do a story with this. Mm. And it's kind of funny how they did. Because I've seen a lot of critics say this. And it's 100% true. There's an interesting story going on. With like what is right and wrong about what they're doing. About trying to get this energy from hell. And the Doom guy doesn't give a about any yeah, of it. Yeah. <laughs> he is there to kill demons. And anything that gets in his way is in his way. And he will take care of it personally. Mm -hmm. I mean... You know immediately, I. it's been a long time since I've seen a game establish a character so well in its first couple of seconds. Like, literally, there's there's a screen that's explaining to him, like, this is what's going on. You need to do it. He just pushes it out the way to yeah. kill some demons. I'm just like, oh, there you go. That is your character <laughs> development. Yeah. And um, it's all without dialogue. Yeah. Somehow. There's no dialogue, and there's a, there's better character development with the, with the Doom Marine than most games I've seen nowadays. It, even in this own mm. series. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's clear what they were going for here. They looked at the old Dooms and said, okay, what makes this work? It's a fast-paced gameplay. It's the don't care about anything but just shooting demons. And they took, they cranked those up to 11. Bethesda, uh, sorry. Uh, Bethesda, like, it took the original Doom mechanics and improved on them. Yeah. In my opinion. They essentially, I mean... It's weird that you say that, but you're actually kind of right. This does feel like the old Doom games just with, you know, made for today's modern gaming audiences. Yeah. And I argue it shouldn't be anything but that. And it's it's nostalgic for people who played the original Doom and uh, the Doom that came out in 2003? Doom 3. Was it Doom 3? I was going to say Doom and Doom 2 mostly. This doesn't really... Yeah, because Doom Three was more trying to be a scary game, and this does not do that. This is just it has its little cheap jump scares. No, yeah, yeah. To it, uh, it never made me go. Oh, it, no, no, no. It, it just kind of made me like. Oh, Startled. Gonna, yeah. No, it was more like, well, you're gonna die. I uh, know. <laughs> there was some points where like it was a cinematic thing, and you're like be picking up a key card off a body or something, and then go ah, like at you, and I was like, you know, why you gotta do this to me? Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> uh the okay, so let, let's get into the dynamics of the game. So, um, like combat and weapons, and w w what are your thoughts? It's surprisingly layered. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the biggest shock of this whole thing is that once again, 
This game, as I kept playing it, I was like, oh my god, this is Wolfenstein The New Order all over again. Yeah. Like, I, it's, it's, they took an old game, and they focused on what made the old game good, and they brought it to a new generation, but not only brought it to a new generation, but found ways to tweak it and improve upon it. So, they knew that people were going to want to see Gore in this game, and boy, oh boy, did they deliver. Yeah. Um, but, at the same time, it is not just there, it's like, hey, look, it's cool! It actually strategically is implemented in it, because the way it works is that there are these things called glory kills. And these glory kills, they are glorious in their gore. Repetitive, I understand. Oh, wow. Um, Speaking of which, I didn't know that you have to aim at a certain body part in order to do different yeah. glory kills. I didn't pay attention to that. I yeah, that, that, you know. they, they, that's like in the first text, and you can miss it very easily. Because I caught, like, when I was doing the challenges, there's there's three challenges to each level, no. like, along with all of your gun challenges. If you're a completionist, this game is like heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because there's a ton of challenges, they're all not really difficult, they're all easy enough to understand, but they're just the right amount of difficult to it. Um, but, so, yeah, you have to aim, and the reason I figured it out is, like, aim for the leg glory kill, so I was like, you can aim for a leg, and I did yeah. it, so, oh! That's for the challenge, yeah, for the challenge. Okay! <laughs> um, and it gives you, like, specific glory kills to do on demons, and then they'll go, they'll go in parentheses, aim for the lower left leg, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then you do it, and you see something you never expected. Yeah, like, um, there was one level where you had to... Do a corkscrew on the possessed, and the corkscrew is that you snap their head. <laughs> yeah, it's like aim at the back of their that head. Made of the, me laugh. Yeah, aim at the back of their head at the lower left leg. I was like, I did not know. Yeah, you can aim at body parts. Yep, yeah. that's really. I mean, it's it, it, it's a minor complaint. It's a little shoddy with it sometimes because you'll think like, all right, I got it, and then I'll do another one. You're like, oh come on. Well, be, it's so fast paced. Your mind's moving a thousand right, exactly. miles an hour. That's why yeah. I can't really criticize it a hundred percent because it is. It, it's such a fast paced game that you you just won't even think. Like you'll think you'll hit it, and you probably did it if yeah. you really look at it. Yeah. Um, but what I love so much about the glory kills, and this is what I think is just absolutely brilliant in this game, is that the glory kills give you health. So. The glory kills give you health, and you're also given a chainsaw. The chainsaw gives you ammo. Utilizing both of these is how you survive in the game. Also, um, speaking of the chainsaw, uh, it doesn't work on... You need, You get... There's ammo for the chainsaw, okay? So it's, it's, it's gas canisters. You can upgrade it, too. Yeah, yeah and you can... Uh, it, I, I... Okay. I, I had upgraded you know it that? No, I had upgraded automatically for it. Oh, I didn't okay. even know about that. Um, until I saw the sixth little red bot, you know. Yeah. Um, but... Depending on the size of the demon is how much gas or fuel you'll need to, to kill it, you know. So it was, was it was a too. smart way to say, yeah. hey, you can use this on any enemy in the game, and yes, you are going to get glorious, gory results. But there is a drawback if you use it on the bigger enemies, mm -hmm. enemies instead of the smaller ones, because you won't get as much ammo back. Mm -hmm. And when the game starts getting really, really fast paced and really harrowing, and everything's getting thrown at you, utilizing the glory kills and the chainsaw—that's the only way you're surviving. Like, you might actually get pissed. Like, you might be like, yeah, I got a headshot. Oh, no, I got a headshot. I was supposed to glory kill him because I'm at 30 health. Because, once again, like Wolfenstein New Order, this brings a health bar back into it. And I want to see this in shooters from now on. I want the health bar back. Because that makes it so much more, like, stressful and fun to me. I, I You might feel differently. But I do, because you're what you focus on is, is things that because re regen health, it, it can be stressful in certain situations. It's, it depends on the game. Like, dude, you can't... If they would have put a regen health, health thing in this game, I would have been pissed. Yeah. You know? But, I mean, when it comes to, to any other game nowadays, you can still be put in stressful uh, situations with regen health. It's just... Re I do agree with you at a point where regen health is BS. Yeah. And I think it depends on the game. I think it's like last generation, we were so... Like, every shooter was regen health because yeah. they were trying to ride on the Call of Duty train. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's... A, like, not to bring up Wolfenstein again, but when Wolfenstein was, like, the first game in years that it had, a, like, an actual health bar... It, actually, no, I take that back. Resistance 3 was the first one I can think of that brought the health bar back. All, the, all three Resistance games. Yeah. Were, yeah. But, it was like, there was such a big gap between 2 and 3. And three didn't wasn't so good. <clears throat> I kind of like three. Uh, um, but yeah, like a, like that's more that's more intimidating to me. Like it was two that was a good sorry, but yeah, yeah, that's more intimidating to me. Like that's more 
that's more you have to think on your feet because if you have regen health, oh, I'm just going to go behind cover until I recover. But if you're like down at like 20 health, you're like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, don't think that the only glory kills gives you health because there's health layered around the battlefield and maps. Yeah. And um, that you can pick up and even some, you know, health and armor uh, pickups are secrets, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, there's a lot of secret fighting <clears throat> in this game. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's a lot. Um, so there's a lot of, like, like Trayvon said, the secrets can hold ammo, they can hold armor, they can also hold little Doom dolls that are adorable. Yeah, the little action figures. And, uh, you yeah. can also find old levels from the first Doom game. Just programmed into the levels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can go back and re and play the old Doom levels. Mm -hmm. Once you, once you find them, you unlock them. But the only thing is that, <laughs> like, it, it's still the, the, the model of the Doom Marine in this game. But it, all the monsters, I, I believe all the monsters and the level are, is all Doom 1. No, 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 no. It's a, it's, it's a new Doom. It's, it's the one from the, at least when you do it within the levels. I don't know if you go back, if you select them from the main menu. If you select them from the main menu, you play the whole Doom level. Yeah. The whole Doom 1 level. Uh-huh. Yes. That's what I'm saying. No, I, what I'm saying is, like, you can explore those levels when you find them in the, well, in the main game. But they're cut, they're like cut off portions yeah. of the original Doom yeah. levels. I'm talking about you can go back okay. and play the whole, like, Doom level, like, the, the original level. Right. When you find that secret level within yeah. the game. Yeah. Wolf, Wolfenstein did the same thing. Yeah. Where, when you found it in the levels, <laughs> you got to go back and play them. But it was jarring, because your model was the new model, and everything else was the 1990s yeah, yeah. model. Yeah, yeah. So you're like, what the... What? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. It is a little jarring. It is. Um, I'm trying to think. Single player, it's really fun. The enemies are very cheesy, but it's kind of in a funny wink-wink way. To the enemies are, like, the same from the original Doom. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about the main villains in the story. Or like, a, what, Olivia Pierce? Moment. Yeah. Yeah, all of them. Like, they're so cheesy. It's kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and what I love is that all the villains are just like, you can't defeat me. You're going to be the good man. Oh, God, what are you doing? <laughs> that, that's even my favorite demon in this game. Which one? Is a caca demon. Which one's you, that? You know a caca demon? The the big oh the eyeball yeah. yeah 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 I just like them because of their name they they had a weird design in this game but it kind of worked yeah um and it's also it's really nice like I love the fact that the game is like it gives you all the power weapons early like it really <laughs> yeah does. well you you can also <laughs> but you can also like there's certain points in the game where they're they're set there for you to find or you right. can find them or you secrets. can find them earlier if you're smart enough yeah <laughs> like i found the chain gun as a secret i was yep. like i didn't so even not yeah i was like oh okay you know yeah. so did I. It, it, it it isn't like hey like it's what i love that some video games do if you're going to you know it rewards the players for exploring your world mm. instead of saying well there's nothing here you're like hey here's a chain gun good job buddy yeah like yeah. I'd rather have game do that than just keep you on a linear path and not give you anything for possibly exploring with outside. Because this is kind of a mixture of both. Like, it, like the levels are linear, but if you explore those levels to the fullest extent, you do get rewarded very greatly for it. Um, the only thing that I had a problem with is that in certain and some levels with that is that you have to be very, very thorough. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise you'll miss an item and you can't go back. Yeah, some of the collectibles are BS. Yeah. Like, they really are. Which means you have to replay the level. I mean, you don't have to complete yeah. the level, but you can replay it. You have to replay it, you know. It is weird, because I noticed playing through levels a second or third time, they took, like, a quarter of the time they did the first time I went through it. Really? Yeah. Maybe it was because, like, oh, I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. But it, it really, like, because there's one level I had to replay three times because I get to do a stupid aim for the lake challenge. Um, the first level would happen. Oh, okay. And uh, every time I went through it, like, the first time I went through it, it took me, like, an hour. The second, the second and third time, it took me, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> I, um, I think one level that I had to replay five times, um, because I kept on missing the secrets. Uh, I think it was Argent Facility Destroyed. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's cruel. Um... <laughs> Oh, no, 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 Argent Facility destroyed its state. The, the Lazarus, the very first Lazarus lab level, um, where you first meet Samuel Hayden in person. Oh! I had to replay it 
over and over again because I missed the the Doom figurine, I missed the the um, the Argent Energy crystal. Yeah, and I, I oh, you want to talk about me being agitated? <laughs> um, was it as bad as me in any Batman game with riddles? I, <laughs> it, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. All right. Well, we haven't um, we haven't touched upon multiplayer yet. Well, there's still a couple things about single player. Just oh. the power ups. That you collect during yeah. battles, uh, like the Berserk or Haste, or you know, those are funny. Yeah, like um, Berserk is my favorite. Berserk, when yeah. you get it, you turn into an all-out fisticuffs killing machine, mm -hmm. and it's hilarious. You're going around ripping these demons' heads. Oh open, my god, it's so punching them, and they explode. It, turn, it turns into a bloody Looney Tunes cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's so it's funny. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, uh, here's the thing about this. Like, I, like there's been talks about like our video games do. But if you look at this game and think it's actually gonna affect anyone, you're an idiot. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Um, this game is so cartoonish in nature that it's it's literally say within the first five minutes this is not meant to be taken seriously. I mean, it, its plot is, is cartoonish, but I mean the actual gameplay, like it's well, like yeah. in your face, hardcore. No, like, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, um, well, I don't want people to associate cartoonish with like, oh, Doom is like a a silly wacky. This is like a dark version of Happy Tree Friends. Don't listen to what he's saying. Well, don't listen to what he's saying. He said it's cartoonish. <laughs> Tell me what you associate with cartoons. Animated little stupid figures that they go and do things. Don't use cartoonish with them. That's stupid. It's about a violent as a Happy Tree Friends episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's bloody. <laughs> um, and if you don't know what that is, kids, don't look that up. Oh, okay. Let's uh, talk about the multiplayer. Uh, yeah. Um, it's good. But, 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 but what about um the problems with the first with the single player? I don't really have any, in all honesty. I mean, I guess the only one that I have is that the story is just so simple and mundane. Like, there's not really anything there. But even that, I really didn't care about. <laughs> I, I still think the story was intriguing, though. I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Like, like... What the Doom guy's been sealed for, like, what looks like a millennia and all this stuff. I love the fact that they reveal a Doom guy, like, all the demons are like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, like, crap their pants. <laughs> like, that was the funniest yeah, part to yeah. me. Because, like, I would have thought, like, okay, well, they just rebooted Doom, so they're all like, who's this guy? But no, it's like, this is Doom 4, because they're all like, oh, God, it's him! Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's something else, something, it's almost comical how, how, like, you can picture it in your head. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, um, there was, what, no problems, really, besides, yeah, the story Not was... Not really. I didn't really have any. The story was a little, uh, a little mundane, like you said. I found some parts in the game repetitive, but I got over it. I've heard that complaint, and I never, I never felt that way. I, when you, like, uh, rip out the, uh, the summoning portals or whatever, you know, you rip it out, and then yeah. it starts the whole battle. Yeah. Well, that was kind of repetitive, but... I didn't care, because I was having too much fun with it. No, I, yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. Like, I, I can see your point, but it didn't bother me. Yeah, no, it, it, it did. I mean, I noticed it, but it didn't bother me either. Mm -hmm. So, um, but anyway, that, that, yeah, that's that. Um, multiplayer. You played a few, a few rounds with me. Good. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's solid. It's nothing, it's nothing game-changing. Like, it's nothing like, oh my god, this is the Brit, but... It's a lot more fun than the last Call of Duty or Battlefields have been. Mm -hmm. Way more fun. Well, besides Battlefield 3. And two. No, I'd say this is more fun. Battlefield two, Bad Company two. Okay. Yeah. That's on par. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one's on par. Battlefield three. No. Battlefield three to me. I hate that multiplayer. I didn't. It was, I did. Battlefield three or something. Remember we, we, anyway. we've, we've talked about yeah. this. <laughs> but um, multiplayer solid. I, I like it. I mean, it's got your typical modes. Um, really, the only thing that's different is that the level design is good in small quarters um there's dances yeah that everyone <laughs> had fun with uh, the customization is excellent yeah it is you can uh color customizations for your armor and your guns different armor pieces dances they taunts. went nuts yeah um yeah so there's a high level of customization i also finally 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 since modern warfare 2 i was like oh my god a game with a single weapon and your secondary weapon's a shotgun marry me dude yeah. <laughs> like, i miss that so much about modern warfare 2 and finally to see that again and not only that but you can customize your guns from the start and you don't have to buy microtransactions for it yeah um yeah. 
Yeah, everything everything you earn is, is in game. Yeah, everything you earn is in game through leveling up in No Multiplayer, which is actually really easy to do. And the leveling up is not too hard and it's not too simple. I mean, no. I, when you first started, like I got to like level thirty something in, in like two you days. Five within two games, and that, and the trophy's just like good job. I'm like I thought that was gonna take way more, yeah. way longer, but okay. No, but the leveling <laughs> up, the leveling up, it, it paces itself because once you get in the higher yeah. levels, then it starts to slow yeah, down. Yeah, that's a perfect way to put yeah. it. It paces itself. Yeah. Um, and you you unlock all the all the demons you can be the uh, level seventeen. Oh, uh, there's yeah. only four or five. Four. That's the main mechanic. That's the main difference between this and other multiplayer games. Is that you get to be a freaking demon. Um, you got your prowler, your mancubus, uh, baron of hell, and um, uh, God, there's a fourth one. Don't matter because they're all fun. Uh, we're, we're, we're <laughs> revenant. Yeah, we're revenant. There we go. My favorite is probably the prowler or the baron of hell. I like the Revenant. Really? Really? The Mancubus is kind of cool, too. Ugh. Had a bird coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, you, uh, you can play as certain demons in the game. Um, and the way you do this is that there's a, uh, there's it's a, like a demon portal that you yeah. have to find within the map. Demon so room. Everyone bum rushes for it as soon as it pops up. I, I, I'm pissed because it's always like 300 feet away. And I'm like, well, what the heck? You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I've looked at every single multiplayer game I play. It's always been on the other side of the map. Well, and I'm like, what the? The hmm. funniest to me was like, I was just sniping once. And it just popped up right below me. So it's like, you're a demon now. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> um, but no, I can definitely see because that happened to me on matches too, where it's like demon room available now, and it's like three hundred fifty away. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm totally getting that. <laughs> yeah. <You're> like, <laughs> yeah um, might as well just snipe for when it's inevitably gonna come for me. <laughs> when uh, when you kill the demon, that the you know whoever got the demon room once they're killed, the other team can spawn a demon. Yeah. Uh, with the remaining time left in the demon yep. room. Who, yeah. Is it who? It's whoever kills it, correct? Whoever clicks, no, because the demon room spawns ah, there again. Whoever clicks the demon room again. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, also really funny, the the stuff that happens in the multiplayer games, because uh, when you're a demon, you can still melee. And glory, you can still glory kill. Yeah, yeah, and if a demon just regularly punches a dude, they fly across the map, and if you're sniping and you see this, it is the funniest thing on the planet. You will just see a dude get thrown across the map with no or. What was even funnier, when we were playing, do you remember when I pointed out to you the dude who literally got punched into a wall? Uh, someone was a prowler. Someone was a prowler, yeah, someone was a prowler and punched a dude so hard he glitched into the wall and was ragdolling in the wall. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> prowler, yeah, the prowler, what he can do is that he can lunge at people, and once he lunges, he, like, stabs you and you, he impales you into a wall, but this guy's body, like, went through the wall and it was like... <laughs> You know, you know it's like he stuff. got punched through the wall, and as he got punched through the wall, half his body just smashed into the other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it um, was like a cartoon. Like, <laughs> but uh, that reminds me of of when I was doing that. I was sniping too. And all of a sudden, a claw went through my stomach. I'm like, well, I guess, <laughs> I guess the problem found me. <laughs> oh, that's peculiar. Yeah. Oh man, and then you like. Uh, yeah, oh, oh. The glory kills are, are really cool. Yeah. And, and the, the marines can glory kill the demons, too. Oh, yeah. And you can glory Make kill no the demons. Make no mistake. Yeah. <laughs> like, you run up to people, trip them, and punch their head in, you know. It's, <laughs> it's like, you know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where you push them in the wall and smash their head in with your knee. And it's just like, you know, I feel a little bit better about myself today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the developers are un of uh, Unreal Tournament are like, hmm, yes, this is how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... But no, I, you, you know, I kept thinking to myself, like, wow, if Microsoft wants to win my cynical butt back, this is how they make Gears of War 4. I don't think it's going to be like that. Though. No, I know it's not yeah, going to be yeah. like that. <laughs> no. But a man can wish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if Coltrane was in the game, maybe we talk. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's great time. I, I I think you know what I'm giving this. This, oh, this oh. is getting an A. An A? Yeah. I'm right there with you. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's it's so close to an A plus. It's so close. And if the story was a wee bit better, a wee bit more clairvoyant, I should say. Yeah. Um, if there was just a, a tiny bit more there, this would have gotten an A plus. But as it stands, it's it's a freaking A. Like yeah. this game's awesome. Oh um, I little off topic, but there's one thing I want to say to everybody, all of you guys, I. I pooped my pants when I saw the God of War 4 trailer. 
<laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> All right, so how do you feel about Doom? <laughs> but uh, Doom, yeah, I give it an A. <laughs> um, like I said, the, the, the main story, uh, I wish it was a little bit more clairvoyant, but I it, it still kept me intrigued. Yeah. You know, I was still interested to see... And it was still funny to see all the demons peeing their pants <laughs> when, it, when, you know, the Doom Marine. Like, you would hear the narration, like, when you would touch demon runes or whatever. <laughs> and, and he's like, then the Hellwalker came in and screwed crap up and he, he killed all the demons and then he went back to the other realm and then we died. That's basically <laughs> what it was. And then the last one was just like, and the hell, oh God, you're him! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> It, it was like it, it, they they made you feel so like almighty and powerful <laughs> again. Like it, it made you like you can go in and having the shittiest day or the crappiest day, excuse me. And um, you you go in and play Doom. You go in and play Doom, and you're like, I am godlike. I feel it, good today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't get that feeling playing it. It's just mm -hmm. like, man, I had a really crummy day. I think I know I'm gonna take out some anger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like th this game will make you feel ten times better about yourself. <laughs> Like, let me tell you something. And that's what games should do. Yeah. So, yeah. this this is like, if you if you played Doom back in the day, like the old school shooters, you were going to love this so Get it. much. It's worth your $60. It, it's absolutely worth your $60. Yeah. This is one of the few games I've paid for this year in full $60 and said, I got every money I spent on it. This is the, the game, the only game that I paid almost besides Fallout for. This is the game that I paid $90 <coughs> for for the season pass, too. Did you really? Yeah. I didn't do that. I, oh, I love the original Doom, so I was like, you know I, what? I created yeah. my pants. <laughs> I'm just one of those guys, like, if I'm going to get DLC, I'm doing it when PlayStation inevitably puts it on sale, which they do, mm -hmm. because guess what's on sale this week? Uh, the Mortal Kombat DLC 2-pack for 5 bucks. Uh, I already got the, uh, I already got all that. My point. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I wait till I see five bucks and then I'm like, and click. Yeah. <laughs> or when the flash sale comes up, you waste all your money there. Oh, God. Don't even get me started. <laughs> um, I'm almost afraid. Like, I'm really good on money right now, but I did, but they haven't put theirs up for June yet. I'm like, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> and I know it's not going to go well. I am. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, this game, it's gold gem. It's awesome. Yeah. I, I highly recommend it. Pay you sixty dollars. Good job, Bethesda. Yeah. Even though I'm still upset with you that you didn't announce a second Wolfenstein game at your E3 convention this year, you were awful. They did uh, Elder Scrolls with Skyrim remastered. Eh. <laughs> I like Skyrim stuff. So. I know you do, and and we've talked about it at length. Yes. I, I'm happy for all of you, but me, eh. <laughs> You're a horrible person. <laughs> but um. Yeah, well, tell me, tell me when Skyrim gets a John Cena mod on PS4, and then we'll talk. There's a Macho Man mod. Okay, let's talk. <laughs> you know that? That's a Randy Savage mod, dude. Oh yeah! All Time the, to go get some dragons. All the dragons are Macho Man. Oh god, it's even worse. And when they <laughs> run they go, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's uh, it's so it's so good. I'm about snapping your slim Jim. <laughs> And cook you like bacon. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Bye, everybody. Bye. That's a whole can of worms you don't want to open. So. Oh, I'm coming for you. I can't believe you.